I got woke kids. I will never be as woke as my kids would want me to be, ever. Yeah, but you're a little too, still. <laughs> uh, and, you know, woke does not automatically mean better. Newer does not automatically right, mean better. Right, that's true. So that's why I say to talk broadly is bullshit. Ain't nothing changed, nothing new here to see. This ain't nothing but some political maneuvering. America! Welcome to the eulogy, eat it up. It's called political buffoonery. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Dumb Democracy, where we showcase some of the dumbest newsmakers of the week. I make no bones about my political biases. I'm right-leaning, I'm a conservative from the People's Republic of New York City, and while that makes me really far right in the Northeast, it makes me probably more center of the road, or even liberal in some places around the country. I don't know. I have to go visit those places to find out, I guess. I say this because I want people to know that I'm a good faith advocate for my positions. And I like it when I interact with people who think differently than me, who are also good faith advocates for their positions. And I'm starting to think more and more that Bill Maher is one of those people. Bill Maher has been behind the curve in a lot of respects when it comes to issues of the day. I think that he held on to a lot of traditional liberal values at first. And it kind of smacked him in the face that the days of the traditional liberal that he has been his whole career has kind of gone by the wayside with woke ideology now being the favorable, trendy, sexy position to have on the left. And I think Bill Maher, because he's pro-free speech, he has to be necessarily anti-woke. And he has expressed those views from time to time. And I certainly applaud him when he does that. Doesn't mean that I'm a huge fan of his. It just means that I accept him as a good faith advocate for positions. So when I came across this video of Bill Maher talking with Neil deGrasse Tyson, hanging out, having a couple of drinks, I was intrigued to see what topics would be discussed. And to my surprise and delight, Maher actually takes Neil deGrasse Tyson to task on various woke issues, especially involving college campuses and the insanity that's going on with this new woke generation. I know it sounds like a lot of get off my lawn stuff, but I think you guys are going to like it. But before we actually get into the analysis of this interaction, I want you to please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other shows. And if you like what you see and hear in this or any of the other videos on my channel, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, share the show with your friends, all that good stuff, because it feeds the YouTube algorithm. Feed me! I definitely appreciate it if you do all of that, and it's definitely been helping get the videos out into more circulation. I've noticed that videos recently have been circulated by YouTube a lot more, and that's because of you guys putting in the work, liking, subscribing, and all that stuff that we talk about. So thank you, everybody, for doing that. Let's get into this video. Bill Maher doesn't really take woke culture as a whole. He likes to talk about different topics. So the first thing they're going to discuss is the state of free speech on college campuses. And to the surprise of many, Bill Maher really goes at Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Surely I, I, there's a portfolio of jokes that would still if, work on a college campus. Surely. I would hope not. From what, maybe, maybe some college campuses, you, the ones you read about are fucking insane. You've given up and on an entire generation, and I you don't given, know how to make them laugh. I have given last. up on any place that doesn't even remotely attempt to believe in free speech. So Neil deGrasse Tyson is making the argument, I guess, that tastes have changed on college campuses and there's got to be a way to be funny and entertaining and also coddle to the woke, which is really what he's advocating for here, in my opinion. Bill Maher is having none of that. He is a staunch First Amendment advocate. You have to be if you're going to be a comedian, especially a comedian of his generation. So Bill goes hard here at, at Neil deGrasse Tyson and thinks that anything that, that they hear that they don't like, that they don't agree with, is violence. These people are fucking nuts, and you should be calling them out. Somebody like you, who has standing with kids, should be not I joining do when, them. When you a are taking, you're doing what, to it. You're yes. doing what parents do. You're What's taking that? the path of least resistance, I, and therefore hurting the kids and yourself. Parents ruin both their lives. They ruin their fucking spoiled kids' lives, and they ruin yeah. their own lives because the kids rule the roost. So that's what you're doing on a national level. I, I'm feeling more like on the porch. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Really? I feel snapper. like we're in the barbershop. <laughs> right. 
And while it's nice to see that they're having a good time talking about this, I think Bill has a great point here. And I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is running over that point, basically calling Bill a boomer. I think what Bill Maher is referring to here is sort of the Strauss-Howe theory of generations. You know, the idea that hard times make strong men, strong men make good times, good times make weak men, and weak men make bad times. And the cycle just repeats over and over again. It's this cycle of growth, maturation, entropy, and then rebirth into the cycle again. It seems to me, and I think Mar would agree, that we're in the entropy portion of this particular cycle. And Neil deGrasse Tyson sort of discounts that a little bit by talking about sitting on a porch in a rocking chair, talking about get off my lawn, making fun of Bill Maher being the older gentleman, not understanding the youth. But what Bill Maher said at the beginning of the video, if you remember the intro, Bill Maher pointed out that not everything that's new is better or good. And that cycle that we just talked about is sort of proof of that, right? We can all agree that there's been progress technologically, socially, and all these things. I think that, of course, all of these are good things. But the weakness that is coming from these good things is really harming society. And that's what Mars trying to get to here. Neil deGrasse Tyson is in a position to talk to this next generation that is perpetuating this entropy portion of the cycle to let them know that, hey, Maybe all words aren't violence. Maybe the woke culture that you're perpetuating is not better than what came before you. Maybe free speech is better. Maybe you should embrace that. But as Neil deGrasse Tyson said, he doesn't do that. He does that with science, he said. But he doesn't do that in cultural aspects. And that is enabling, at least in Mars' opinion, I think. And I'm, again, I'm divining all this. But I think Mar thinks that is enabling generational decay. Like what you see so far? Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, leave us a comment and tell us what you're thinking. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another show. Mar then broaches the subject about sports and gender ideology. Let's see where this takes us. Sports is, we have men's sports and women's sports. And if the best team in the WNBA played the worst team in the NBA, the score would be a million to zero. Can we organize society around that basic point with, that, with this, of course, proviso that we protect and, and respect people who do not fit into it? Great question. I think it sets everything up perfectly. There is an inherent difference between the sexes because of the way that the different sexes develop. I think that's science, and, and Neil deGrasse Tyson is all about science, right? So he should have no problem with this. Let's segregate society between That's dark skinned people and light skinned people it's because not... that nature made it that way and that's how it is. Are you serious right now? What a stupid analogy. This has got to be the dumbest smart person in the world. How in the world are the two in any way similar? How is segregation by skin, which is a social construct, the same as separation in sports by sex? which is a biological construct. It's a matter of genetics. It's a matter of your actual makeup of what makes up the species of human. Now, I'm no scientist, and I can't explain to you how hormones affect muscle development and how males develop you know, better twitch muscle fibers and things like that. I don't know all about that. I've read some things about it, and I understand that the development because of hormones actually makes a difference. But I also know that that's common sense because we've seen it and we have lived experience that shows that. We see that men are bigger, taller, stronger, faster in general terms. Why are we denying science, Mr. Science? So well, nature so did you, make it that way. You are, <laughs> and it's not segregating. Well, there it's was not a segregating time. segregating anything. Here. That attitude it's, 150 years ago oh, was it was. Under, two years ago, you act like this was, a, yes, right, Lincoln. This was a big issue in the Lincoln-Douglas <laughs> debates. Trans people, that's no, right. No, I'm talking about I, black I remember white. that from I'm talking about 1861. Black. Yes, I remember those debates. Good for Bill Maher for making fun of this stupid analogy that Neil deGrasse Tyson wanted to keep perpetuating. Completely ridiculous. Maher, as a comedian, having that wit that he has, calling this out, he hits the moment really well to show the absurdity 
of what Neil deGrasse Tyson was saying. It was 1860, and I think. Lincoln yeah. was all about <laughs> getting trans. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're ridiculous. No, no. So if we can split wrestling into 10 categories, and that becomes the wrestling match. But all men against each other. Correct. So, <laughs> okay, so again, now I get sort that. Sort of key point. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So all I'm saying is, what is it that makes the man the man? Is it the hormones? Okay. I think the chromosomes make the man. I think that's pretty undeniable. Our genetic code that told 23andMe that we all have in us, right? That's what makes a man a man and a woman a woman. And no amount of hormones will change that. You'll simply have a male with abnormal hormones or unnatural hormones within them, or a woman with unnatural or abnormal hormones within them. That's what it is. You're starting out with a really bad premise here. Again, you're supposed to be a scientist. This is, this is basic high school biology. Boys have a penis. Girls have vagina. <laughs> I'm making this up, by Why the way. You, but, I'm not saying it should happen this way. It's a way to start thinking okay, about it. It would be maybe the track meets have hormone categories. And maybe giving yourself the wrong hormones is deleterious to your health. Would you not admit that? Do you think we can just safely do things like this? So you would feel this way because you're concerned about, you're so deeply concerned about the health of the people who are trying to find their place on the well, gender spectrum? Well, now that's, see, that's a low blow from Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's basically calling. Mars' entire argument into question. Remember I talked about good faith argument versus bad faith argument? This is a bad faith argument. He's basically saying to Bill Maher, oh, you don't really care about what you're saying right now. But watch what Maher does here. He turns that around on Neil deGrasse Tyson and makes him feel like a real a-hole. You care about their health so much that yeah, you don't want will, them to it, go through that? It's not something that keeps me up at night, but when right. the subject comes up, yeah. I care about them like I care about all people. Mm -hmm. So if there is you something... You by the way. You think about all people. Of course. Yeah, I give, that that. A, I give that, you that. Is, oh, okay. Yeah. You're being You think sincere. about all people. No, I'm being sincere. Yeah, I do. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. Old school liberal. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I want all people to have, you know, make this very challenging world that we live in mm -hmm. better so that's why there's honest debate about this issue. And we, why don't we cut Keep it off? Keep the debate honest. Yeah. Why don't we cut it off now? Because, like, we're not going to solve this. Mm -hmm. We set our pieces. Mm -hmm. We get it. It's a good point to end it here. I agree. Neil deGrasse Tyson, not exactly the best at handling good faith argument, good faith disagreement. He wants to win the argument. He doesn't see any value coming from the discussion other than that. Bill Maher is having a good faith discussion. And I think he did a good job here of calling out those bad faith moments that Neil deGrasse Tyson was trying to perpetuate here to show, I guess, his virtue in signaling that he thinks that we should handle things a different way than we have in the past. Again, remember what Bill said in the beginning. Just because something's new doesn't mean that it is necessarily better. I think we all need a dose of good old-fashioned values to come back a little bit. And when I say good old-fashioned values, how about just from like 10 years ago? That's not so far off, is it? I think that's a good marker to use to say, let's go back to those values a little bit. Let's respect the dignity of all people. Let's have diversity of thought. Let's have diversity of points of view. Let's have respect for each other. And let's see if we can all have reasonable disagreements instead of this divisive, woke nonsense that is coming from this next generation in our college campuses and is perpetuating more and more hate every day. But hey, that's just my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm totally off base. Whose side are you on here? Give me who you got. Is it Bill Maher? Is it Neil deGrasse Tyson? And tell me why in the comments. And while you're here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any shows. Like, share the show with your friends, all that good stuff. And let's keep having important conversations just like this one concerning the shenanigans and buffoonery that we see every day this week in Dumb Democracy. and opinions expressed here are not necessarily of the mainstream media and may offend some listeners. It's called political buffoonery.